fan finally seized up on this. Took all the guts out and I'll just definitely save that for later. It's a you know good case. Use it for something. It looks a little bit cooler this way. It's got the seven segment display by three. Just uh, took a little sharpie and wrote everything on here that was on this percentage voltage winner uh, slow charge fast charge standard AGM jail so yeah just took that out of the case since the fan seized up quit working I pulled out this old fan if you guys remember this one was being used for the refrigerator um, for the RV fridge because it was having a uh, was having a bad problem with hot spots I put that in there to help stir up the air hot glued the alligator clip to it just to clip it anywhere in the fridge didn't really do much because the fridge is crap it's going out anyway and I don't know had a bad door seal or something um, so I forgot where this came from but it's a flimsy old fan broken up got some hot glue traces on there just to help firm up the remaining little support bars here this one broke and it's missing but anyway it works need to flip the alligator clip around because I want the fan blowing down um, and out. I should make a surround for this so the air can channel over these fins like it was in here. But I was running it earlier, got a full charge with it. I think it's cooling down just fine. Yeah, it'd be nice if this alligator clip was flipped around or the fan just blew that direction. whole lot cooler too. See it's blowing the wrong direction. Uh, and you need to be really careful with these heat sinks. You can have power going across them. So I kind of just did something like that. Forcing the air down and out. Fix that problem. This thing did smell kind of burnt sometimes. It just it wasn't a good. I don't think this is very well vented. Or just had a little inadequate fan. It got really, really hot, even when the fan was working. When I quit working, I smelled burnt plastic. That's how I realized that was out. Make sure to unplug that because I don't want to go reaching it. Forget about it and go reaching underneath. Right, let's keep that out of the way for now. I've got my eye on an actual RV converter, which is, I think it was, I forgot how many amps it was. It was up there. It's like 160 amp or something. 100 amp. It was 100 amp. And that would be more than enough to run everything I need to and charge the batteries a whole lot quicker than what this thing can do at 15 amps. This is nice though because it runs really well with the smaller Predator, Predator 2000 watt in, uh, generator. Let's me do other things while batteries are charging. So for now, this will be just fine.